okay dear students let us see what is there in this question a stationary sound source emits waves of wavelength lambda and the speed v the source now moves away from the stationary observer so this is the observer and the source is moving away but the sound is going in the backward direction towards the observer what are the wavelength the speed of sound as measured by the observer so my dear students first of all that the speed of the sound never changes this question belongs to doppler's effect and in doppler effect only and only frequency and the wavelength change but the speed does not change so it will be equal to v no doubt about that and let us uh, think about the wavelength or the frequency so we know that f dash is given by c minus the velocity of observer divided by c minus the velocity of the source and the sign convention is used this direction is positive this is negative we are going to substitute the values with the sign convention so it becomes f into c so the sound is moving in the negative direction okay um let me write this thing with a different color so as uh, to understand that the, now i have already substituted the values okay so this becomes negative c because the sound is moving towards left observer is stationary so that is zero source is moving in the positive direction so that will be taken as vs positive so overall f dash is f into minus c negative sign can be now taken common so this is our final equation so now you can see whether the frequency is increasing or decreasing so uh, the um, this is more than uh, the denominator is more than the numerator uh, because c plus vs is more so this is lesser than one so it means that f dash will be lesser than the frequency okay so the frequency that would be uh, heard by by the person by the observer there that will be lesser than the original frequency now there is uh, another formula which is c is equal to lambda into frequency c remaining constant that is the speed of light speed of uh, sound remaining constant uh, lambda and f are inversely proportional if the frequency is reducing the wavelength will be increasing so it would be having longer wavelength and hence the answer should be a let us verify it from the mark scheme and yes my dear students the answer is a so this is how we do this question uh, this question is from the doppler's effect my dear students if you have any other doubt for this topic please that please mention that in the comment section all the best